Hi, and welcome to this video about single-step genetic evaluations. You probably noticed how one country after another is switching to a single-step evaluation for its national breeding values. But do you also know why? In this video, we will explain the basics of the single-step model and its benefits for cattle breeding. Let's get started. In animal breeding, it's important to know an animal's genetic merit. To estimate this, we use multiple sources of data phenotypes, pedigree, and more recently, genomic data. These data sources work together to guide us in selecting the best animals to breed for an improved next generation. When genomic prediction was first introduced in 2008, it was added on top of our existing evaluation system in a series of steps. This created what we call a multi-step model. Generally, there are four steps in our current multi-step genomic prediction. Let's break it down. Step 1. Pedigree and phenotypes go into a traditional prediction model to calculate breeding values for all animals. Step 2. For genotyped animals, we then transform the breeding values to become proxy phenotypes again. This adjustment is called a deregression. With deregression, we make sure we don't count family info twice when we start using the genomic data. We also account for the fact that some bulls have more data than others, like daughter information. Step 3. Those adjusted values, along with the genotypes, go into a genomic prediction model, which estimates effects of individual genetic markers and produces direct genomic breeding values. Step 4. Finally, we combine the traditional and genomic values for genotyped animals to get the published breeding values. This system works well but it has some limitations. For one, it's complex. Multiple steps can introduce errors and slow things down. Two, it's limited. Only genotyped animals benefit from the genomic data. Only a small percentage of animals are genotyped, so we're not using all the information we could. Three, it's based on approximations. The genomic era has taught us that the assumptions made in the traditional model are not completely correct. Enter single-step genomic prediction. To solve this, researchers in the U.S. and around the globe have developed a smarter approach. Single-step, short for single-step genomic BLUP. Instead of going through a series of steps to integrate pedigree and genomic data, single-step combines everything, pedigree, performance, and genomic info, into one single model. It then calculates breeding values for all animals, genotyped or not, this means fewer steps, fewer assumptions, and more accurate results. Single step is based on the following important principle. When it comes to who is related to whom, pedigree data shows expected relationships and genomic data shows actual relationships based on DNA. For example, based on pedigree, we assume that full siblings share 50% of their DNA. However, when we look at the DNA, we know that this is an average and siblings can in reality have more or less genetic similarity. With single step, if an animal or its relatives have genotypes, we can use that DNA information to improve the estimate for the non-genotyped animals. And if an animal is genotyped, the information from its non-genotyped relatives is now more accurate. Why single step leads to higher accuracy? In animal breeding, accuracy comes from two things. One, the amount and quality of the phenotypic data and two, the quality of the method used to process it. While data is needed and having lots of data helps, smarter methods can extract more value from the data we have and increase prediction accuracy. The traditional multi-step method relies on some approximations. For example, the deregression step doesn't include all relatives and does not work well for maternal traits. And it's complicated to correctly use all daughter information on a bull when some are genotyped and others are not. Also, genetic trends are estimated using the traditional model, which means that genomic selection has not been taken into account. Lastly, the genomic data is only improving predictions for genotyped animals. In contrast, single step uses all the data at once. So, one, we make optimal use of all information available, and two, all animals can get genomically improved predictions, including those without genotypes. The genomic data in single step strengthens the entire system 
and even ungenotyped animals benefit. Real World Impact Single step implementation will have the largest effect on 1. Traits with fewer records and a lower reliability 2. Young animals or animals with limited data 3. Commercial populations with fewer records and 4 populations where genotyping every animal isn't practical. You also get a reliability boost for most traits, but especially those with lower heritability. More accurate genetic trends, because all animals are included. Single step will show the smallest changes for animals that already have very high reliable breeding values, such as AI bulls, and traits of high heritability and plenty of records, such as milk yield. Question time. So if single step enhances the breeding values of ungenotyped animals, do I still have to genotype my animals? Yes, a genotyped animal will come out of single step with the most reliable breeding value. The reliabilities of non-genotyped animals are still based on pedigree and phenotypes. Although their breeding values will be adjusted, the reliability will be lower than if they were genotyped. Some final notes. While single step is an obvious upgrade to multi-step, we do have to make a few notes as well. One dot with single step, all breeding values get genomically enhanced. Thus, we say goodbye to pure traditional evaluations that only use pedigree and phenotypes. Two, single step gets quite complicated with longer computing time for very large populations, and it takes a long time of development and testing. This is why it has been implemented in smaller populations. The United States, however, has the largest genetic evaluation system in the world. Transitioning to single step is therefore still a work in progress, but it's well underway. Thank you for listening and stay tuned.